We are going to take a look at Madison, Pennsylvania. Madison is a uh, place way out on the edge of Hemfield Township. And to just, this is Greensburg over here. This is Greensburg, Youngwood down here. Over here, out here is Madison. Now with the help of Google Earth, I'd like to uh, take a ride out there. We're going to be going on 136 out this way through Arona and Dara and then down to Madison. I want to line this up, put this right in the middle. And we're going to hopefully come in on Madison, get a picture of the place. That's what Madison looks like from the air. You have uh, Route 30, 136 coming in from the north and down here to pretty much the center of the town. And then it goes on out to uh, West Newton. Yukon's on the, out that way too. Now, what I'm going to do is get in a little bit closer And I'm going to get this little guy here. I'm going to bring him in. And we're going to come in right on 136 as it's coming into Madison. And we'll get on here on the ground. And you can see coming right into town. We almost lost sight of that house up there. There's a house right up there I wanted to get a view of. That's it. And I was out there in Madison last Sunday, last weekend. I think it was about the 15th of uh, July, 2018. And I was looking for this place. You know, you'd think a thing that big would be, uh, would be visible and easy to find. I couldn't find it. And I realized why I couldn't find it is because it's not there anymore. What we're going to do is uh, we'll take a look. We'll be coming in on this same road on some of the video I shot out in town. And we'll be able to get a look at that empty lot and uh, go on into town maybe. This is 136. We're coming in on the road from West Newton. And we're approaching Main Street in Yukon, or in Madison, and we're going to turn left. I'll turn left here. That's the open field. We were just looking at in the last frame of that video where that house was torn down. This is just at that corner where uh, 136 turns coming onto Main Street in Madison. And I do not want to give the impression that everything in Madison has been torn down. It hasn't. There are a lot of nice old houses left. Uh, this map here shows you Madison in 1867 right here is the house where the house was you can see J.R. McKinty rather J.R. Kinty was there in 1867 and right across the street J.R. Kinty had a store right above Dr. McConaughey's office and you'll see things like a store over here and post office. It was also a tannery, a place where animal hides were turned into leather. Further down the street, you can see a blacksmith shop. Another blacksmith shop down here. People by the name of Goodman, Henderson, Schrader, Erfel, McClasby. And here's a church out here. 
this street is now called Mill Street because there was a mill out here once upon a time. Next, we're going to look at this house here, Jay McGuile. Nice old house. I remember driving through Madison some years ago, and I just had the impression it was uh, a lot of nice old houses there. And it wasn't a place like some of the nearby mining towns where had that had more more recent houses that had been built quickly. A lot of the houses here are more uh, substantial. That's the house we were just looking at there, Mikhail. And right up the street, we're going to see another house. G. Miller had a house up here. And we'll take a look at that. And it looks to me like the same house that has been there for quite some years. It's had an addition put on the back. And some alterations have been doing. It looks like at one time had eave returns here. And the eaves were shortened in accord with more recent styles. But the integrity of the house very much looks like it remains. We're turning on to Mill Street. We go out Mill Street. We're going to be going down. And we should come to something of a, uh, a Y down here, it looks like. We are approaching that place where there's a park off to the left down in here. Now we will see that road that we were just traveling on. We will see it mapped. This mapping is from 1876. We came down Main Street and turned onto the road. It's called Mill Road or Mill Street going out this way. Now we'll switch to a more general map. This is also 1876 and shows us Madison. This is the road coming out of Madison, coming out this way. And our little trip stopped about right here. But if we would have kept going down over the hill, we would have come to the place where there was back then a mill, a grist mill. A grist mill is a place where grain is ground up so that it can be used and cooked and eaten and fed to animals. Uh, the Schraders at this point, William Schrader had the grist mill down there. And I do have a picture of the Schrader's house uh, it was there in the 1970s, and it's perhaps still there. Maybe someone can tell me. Now, this calls to mind even earlier events in and around Madison. At the time of the French and Indian War, we're talking about the 1750s, General Braddock came through there. Before he and his army arrived, he sent a whole bunch of guys, probably about 500 guys, came out. They were a bunch of axemen. They were making a road. They made a road about 12 feet wide that the army could travel on. They were on their way into Pittsburgh because the French were trying to drive out the British, and the British were trying to drive out the French. And General Braddock was on his way with an army into what is now Pittsburgh, what was then Fort Duquesne, to defeat the French. But that didn't work out as planned. Not for Braddock and for a lot of the guys 
about half of his army was uh, killed by Indians. They were ambushed in around the area we now know as Braddock, and they retreated. And Braddock died on the way out, coming back east. And the road went right through what became, eventually, Madison. In fact, it was one time the, the, uh, the main road. It more or less paralleled the main road there now. The British needed help when they were fighting, so they offered land to the early settlers if they would fight in their army. And some of the guys took them up on the, uh, on the offer. People like McDowell, Howell, Spaeth, they, they accepted the British's offer. They fought with them and they got land grants. And what we might remember is that before Madison was ever Madison, it was called McDowell's Crossroads because McDowell got a land grant and he put up a, uh, a house, rather substantial house, in the place that became Madison. And it first of all became McDowell's Crossroads. And it was a strong house or a block house. It was a place very important during the Revolutionary War because the British at that time were allied with the Indians and the Indians were attacking the early settlers who were at variance with the British and the local colonists came to McDowell's blockhouse as a fort, a place where they could fight off the Indians and save themselves. As a matter of fact, Frank Cowan's grandfather was born in that blockhouse. And Madison changed names eventually we have the date 1812, but it was officially named Madison in 1829 when it became a post office there. And then Madison was incorporated as a borough in 1876. And we have a nice picture of the old town. We see the, uh, the guys out there hanging out on what might have been a nice summer day when things were not too busy and not too noisy in Madison. And that'll be about enough for this one. And we'll have another, another little episode of uh, look at Madison. That'll be enough for this one. Bye now.